Hey y'all, it's Crystal here from Crystico Design. Today we're making this beautiful basket weave beanie. And you're going to need some number six super bulky weight yarn for baby zero to 12 months. You'll need about 40 yards. Toddler, one to three years, 45 yards. Child size, which is ages four and up, 50 yards. And then teen, small adult, 60 yards. Medium, large adult, about 65 yards of yarn. We're using our 9mm US size 13 circular needles. You'll need to do magic loop for this pattern. And then you'll need yarn needle, measuring tape, and scissors. You'll need a stitch multiple of 4 for the cast on. If you're making the baby size, cast on 28, toddler 32, child 36, teen small adult 40, and for medium large adult 44. I'm using the alternating cable cast on for this pattern and then we're going to join to knit it in the round. We'll start first with the slip knot to get set up. This is a short tail cast on so you don't need to leave a long tail. Slip that slip knot on your left hand needle. This will count as our first stitch. Since it has a bump we will count it as a purl stitch. Now we're going to use the knitted cast on to set up our next stitch before we start the alternating cable cast on. So we're just going to insert our right needle into this slip knot stitch. We're inserting it in knitwise. And we're going to make essentially a knit stitch, but we won't slide it off the needle. So we're wrapping the yarn counterclockwise around the right needle tip pulling up a loop there. We're going to pull it up longer and then we're going to slip it on to the left hand needle. So now we have two stitches here. This last one counts as a knit stitch. Now we're ready to start our alternating cable cast on. And just like with the cable cast on, we're going to be inserting between the two stitches that you have on the needle, the last two stitches as we work. So we're going to need a purl stitch next. So we're going to bring our, our yarn to the front and we're going to insert our needle, our right hand needle, between the two stitches from the back to the front. Then we're going to wrap the yarn around like we would as if to purl and then pull that through. Pull that loop through and then instead of sliding off, we are slipping it back onto the left hand needle. Now we're, we're working a knit stitch, so we're moving our yarn to the back. And we're going to insert our needle from the front to the back between the two stitches. Wrap the yarn over, pull up a loop. Slide that onto our left hand needle. Move our yarn to the front, insert our needle from the back to the front, wrap the yarn over counterclockwise, pull our loop through, slide it onto the needle. And then you'll just keep repeating those two, alternating between the knit cast on and the purl cast on for the number of stitches you need. Okay, so I have cast on for one by one rib with alternating cable cast on, but I actually need a two by two rib. So to do the two by two rib, now we're going to work our first row of ribbing, two by two ribbing, but we're going to switch around our stitches as we work so that instead of knit purl, knit purl, we have two knits, two purls. So our first stitch 
is a knit. Remember our pearls are the recessed ones that sit further back. So we're just going to knit our first stitch. And this one is a pearl and I need it to be a knit. So I'm going to insert my right needle into the second stitch purl wise and slip those two off. My loose stitch in the back I'm going to pick up with my left needle and switch it around. And then I'm going to slip that stitch back onto the left needle and now I am ready to knit. And here I have two purls ready. Purl two. So I've knit two, purl two. Now I'm looking at a knit and a purl here so I can knit the first one. And then I need to slide these two off and switch them around. Pick up that on my back needle. Slide this one back on. Now I'm going to knit. And now I have two purls. Purl two. Two knits, two purls, two knits, two purls. Okay, I have a knit purl, knit purl. I need two knits, so I knit the first. Slide these two off. Pick up the back one on my left needle. So, oops. <laughs> Slide this one back on. Now I can knit it. And then I have two purls set up. Purl one, purl two. Now I have one knit. Need to set up my knit, so I slide these two off. Pick up the back one first, slide that one back on. Go ahead and knit it. And now I'm set up for two purls. Now I knit one. Slide these two off and switch them. And then I can knit the first one and purl the next two. And I can knit one. Slide these two off. Slip the one and slip that one back on. Then I can knit and purl two. Okay. Looking at a knit. Slide these two off. them back on, switching Ugh. There go. So I need to knit that one. And then I'm purling the last two. Okay. So now you have switched the ribbing two by two. And in order to join in the round, now you would join in the round. Since we have to slip those stitches off and on our needle like that, it's best to do that flat first and then join my ribbing in the round. And we'll just use our tail to sew up that little gap there that we create. Okay, since we are doing in the round, I'm going to show you that now. So we're setting up for magic loop here. I'm going to make sure I'm between a set, two purls here, two knits here. So I'm gonna pull my, my loop through here. Okay. 
so oh, I have it all kinds of right so here I have two pearls and these first two are knits so I'm going to knit and I have joined it I'm going to knit pearl two Knit two, purl two. Just going to go around repeating that. Set up my magic loop again. So here I'm looking at two pearls. two pearls here. Okay. So just keep going around, knitting and purling. And then here we're going to use that tail just to seam that that little split up there on the edge. Okay, now we're ready to start round three and we're just going to keep repeating round two, knit two, purl two around. And we'll do that for two more rounds. So rounds three and four, knit two, purl two around. I'm going to finish those rounds off camera. Just keep going around. I'm going to use my tail as my beginning of round stitch marker. But if you have a stitch marker and you want to use it, go ahead and put that in before your first stitch now. Okay, after four rounds of knit, purl, knit two, purl two, it's time to do rounds five through eight, which begin with purl two and then knit two. And you'll repeat that around for four rounds. When you start that round six, you'll be looking at two pearls, but you're going to start with two pearls because you're going to stack them for four rows or four rounds. Then it'll be time to switch back to repeating rounds one through four, and you'll go knit two, purl two. And this creates the basket weave. For rounds 13 to 16, for those four rounds, you'll start with purl two, knit two. Baby size stops after 16 rounds. Toddler and child sizes, teen and adult sizes, go ahead and do another round, another four rounds for 17 through 20. That start with knit two, purl two. And then toddler and child sizes stop, and you can go to the decreases. Teen and adult sizes will need to do another four rounds, 21 to 24 that begin with purl two, knit two, and then those sizes will also be ready for decreases. Baby size, you'll want the hat to be at least five inches tall. Toddler and child sizes, six and a half inches tall. Teen and adult sizes, eight inches tall, before you move on to the decreases. For the decrease rounds, we're going to start over, and depending on how many rounds you did, you'll either start with knit two together or purl two together here. Teen and adult will start with knit two together and then you'll purl the next two stitches. So here I am knitting two together to start because I would do knits on the next round if I were doing my four round repeat. And then I would do two purls, so we're going to purl two for the next two. And then we're going to repeat, knit two together and then purl the next two 
repeat that around. You'll have 21 stitches for baby, 30 for teen, 33 for adult after this decrease round. All right, for decrease round for baby, teen, and adult, we are going to knit the first one. And then we will purl two together. Keep repeating that around. Knit one, purl two together after that. You'll end with 14 stitches for baby, 20 stitches for tween, and 22 stitches for adult. Okay, for our third round of decreases, we're doing knit two together, and you just repeat that around for each set of stitches. Knitting two together, you'll have seven for baby, 10 for teen, and 11 stitches for adult. Okay, after you finish this round of decreases, go ahead to the last round. Now I'm going to show how to do the toddler and child sizes for the decrease rounds. Okay, so for my toddler sample here, I have just finished my first 20 rounds. And this is the same for toddler and child sizes. You'll stop here. If you are working the teen and adult sizes, you're going to go ahead and do another four rounds. You'll do the purl to knit to repeat for those four. Now I've already shown you the decrease pattern for the baby, teen, and adult sizes. And since the toddler and child sizes end after a knit two, purl two, repeat around, we are going to do our decreases for toddler and child, starting with purling two together. So here are my first stitches. Right, so my next round would be would start purl two if I were going normal, but since I am ready to decrease, I'm going to purl these two together, and then I'm going to knit the next two, and then I'll just repeat that around, decreasing with my purl two together, and then knit the next two. Toddler, you'll have 24 stitches, and child size, you'll end with 27 stitches. Okay, just finished my first round of decreases. So for toddler size, I have 24 stitches, and child size, 27. For the round two of the decreases, now we're going to purl one, and then knit two together. And we'll repeat that around. Purling one. And we'll knit two together in the next. Purl one, knit two together. Just keep repeating that around. You'll end with 16 stitches for toddler and 18 for child. Okay, now for the third round for our decrease section, we are going to purl two together all the way around, which will leave us with eight stitches for the toddler size or nine for child. Okay, just keep repeating that. Okay, for child size, you'll have nine stitches. So you'll want to purl the first one and then purl two together and continue purling two together around. So you end with five stitches. For toddler, you'll do the same as you do for teen and small adult, which is knit two together around because you end with that even number of stitches. For baby and medium and large adult, you have an odd number of stitches. So you'll knit the first one and then knit two together. And you'll repeat the knit two together around till you end with four or six stitches. And that's your last round before we cut our yarn and sew our hole closed.
Okay, when you just have those four or five stitches left, I think it's six stitches for the largest adult size, you're ready to cut your yarn, leave a long tail, and weave it around and through, sewing that hole closed. Okay, once you have decreased on your last round, it's time to finish off. I'm going to cut a long tail, about 8 to 12 inches should be plenty. Thread your yarn needle and you're going to just slip your needle through each of the live stitches and off of your knitting needle and then pull that tail through. And you can pull it closed and weave your end away. If you need to sew the hole closed, you can do that. Don't forget to join the brim there where we did our alternating cable cast on flat for the first round or first row just with that yarn tail that you started with. Just join that there and then weave that end away just like you would the rest of your ends.